Hi, this is Dr. Boneshwari uh, from GBF Fertility Center, Chennai. Uh, today, I am going to talk about one of the rare conditions, biconvate uterus. And uh, it is very rare. It is a birth defect or developmental arrest. Uh, when you are inside your mommy's tummy, uh, so your organs develop, so your uterus mainly reproductive system. That is uh, organs which are important for giving birth. So uterus forms as a two separate tubes. Then they get united and then form a single uterus. When you are born, we know that whether the uterus, ovaries, tubes are all formed or not. But only they mature after you attain puberty. That is a different angle. But the uterus remains as it is and it will grow in size. But whatever arrest, that is developmental arrest happen, it will remain the same. So when you are seeing some patients, both the sides, two uterus will be there, two tubes will be there, two vaginal cavity will be there, two cervix will be there. At the same time, biconvate uterus again, both the uterine cavities are fused, but only in the central wall will be there. From top to bottom, that wall will be there. That can be there full length or half length or even quarter. Sometimes you would have heard saying biconvate uterus with a subseptate or deep septum or complete septum like that too many uh, medical words people will be using but generally when you see biconic uterus it is divided into two by a central wall that is what it is called biconic uterus it can be corrected very very easily and uh, that biconic uterus uh, sometimes the implantation is a failure again the blood supply will not be there on the septum that is when the baby is getting implanted you will have a problem Many times they will not be knowing only at the time of delivery we will know they have a biconic uterus because one side the cavity will be bigger they would have conceived and delivered without any difficulty. During the cesarean only we will know she has a septum. Otherwise some people when they deliver normally we won't be able to make up. Only when they have a recurrent miscarriages or pregnancy losses we will be able to uh, do an x-ray or ultrasound and then trace that biconic uterus. So in IVF again, in a biconic uterus, when we do X-ray HSG, that is the best diagnostic mode is HSG, hysterosalpingogram, it is an X-ray done for tubal patency. At the same time, it can also tell us the uterine cavity, uh, whether it is single, double, it is completely divided, partially divided, all those details you can get. In that HSG, we will be able to definitely find out when you are going for a fertility treatment, anybody will do this HSG or hysteroscopy. When it is seen, we will do iota many hysteroscopic septal resection, complete septal resections. After that, they conceive normally and then deliver without any difficulty. So the treatment option is there and you can go for hysteroscopic correction. It will not regrow. Once it is done cut, it will not regrow because it is only one time defect and can be corrected once. And then after that you can go for a normal pregnancy and deliver. Only thing is those uh, conditions when we do surgery, you need to have a stitch during the pregnancy to avoid a preterm labors. Thank you.